we have some pastors in our fellowship and one pastor having a small land there he make a lot of pepper a hot pepper with that he can able to survive and he visit the villages and see he go to the 10 villages in a month so he visit 10 villages bring all the people there they they come from 2 uh, 3 kilometers somebody you know, some people from the local village also so like that people will come and stay whole day over there and evening they go back we provide them provide for them small lunch and dinner like rice and beans and little yogurt we don't have any kind of western food any kind of high class food so with that only people will come and go the water the collection comes the pastor will survive in that collection and we have a prayer meeting every house once in a week and friday we have fasting and prayer and all night prayer once in a month and we have the pastors will meet once in a month every monday from 10 to 2 we have fast and prayer and we take the reports and give the reports and give the guidance for them and send them back for that i request you all to pray for the people in india because india they have 29 states they speak 29 different languages one person is unable to travel from one state to the other state so with that we have a problem to to travel other villages but by the grace of god when i in the mission school i learned everything over there and i learned five languages in my country so with that i can able to go five different states now this year we have a plan to go other new states now we are in already in orissa and maharashtra and uh, <clears throat> chatisgarh and uh, uh, um, odisha all these places we have and andhra pradesh and telangana and next year we want to go far bihar and arunachal pradesh my vision to see that gospel to be preached every village and everyone should not die without knowing lord jesus christ they need jesus people are hungry for the lord but there is no any missionaries over here in india in 1945 there are 75000 missionaries in india after independence one by one one by one they left 1970 we have seven missionaries the seven missionaries are left and there is no any gospel going to the rural villages because there is no any funds there is no any free schools and i was one of the beneficiary of the missionaries i learned the education free they provided me everything they brought me into the better life because of they provide everything for me so i have a vision to help a dalit people dalit children and untouchable children in india because i am a dalit christian so please pray for me let i will reach all the dalit children and dalit people in india we want to support the widows we want to support the children provide for them education provide for them a boarding discipline school that gives me very good life to the children because they can learn so many things in the boarding house because i was in the boarding i know the boarding discipline nowadays the children are spoiled because of the technology increase everyone is not having any good discipline good character so with that we want to have in a boarding school in our village so that we can able to provide education for the children in my village